Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another interesting short little unboxing to share with you guys. Uh, these are all three the same knife. This is another uh, batch from Crane's Cutlery. It's called the Riot Iron. And while that sounds familiar, I can't place it. I have not been inside of these yet, so I'm going to share them with you. Most likely, these, these are Crane's Cutlery exclusives. Yeah, it looks like different. We got a brown micarta, we got a green micarta, and then we have a plain one. So, I will link Crane's Cutlery right down below. It's absolutely worth checking them out. They have some of the coolest uh, uh, exclusives, like the coolest dealer exclusives around, meaning you can only get them there. So I'll provide a link right down below. As per usual, it does help my channel when you use my link, so I would appreciate it, but that's entirely up to you. Thanks so much to my generous patrons for supporting me. Link for Patreon right down below. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay, let's open up the, uh, this is, this is just, uh, it says carbon fiber. So Riot, like the premium Riot box, you got the carry pouch, etc., etc. There's going to be carbon, uh, microfiber cloth, extra hardware, all of that stuff. It's always nice to get extra hardware. And then we have the Riot iron. Oh, okay. Well, I don't remember this at all. Oh, oh, that, how do I? Okay, I just wasn't getting a hold of it. All right, interesting. So, this is kind of a weird aesthetic, <laughs> if I'm being honest. But look how we do the, uh, look at this. So we have what's actually going around the pivot is a separate piece of titanium carves through the middle. There's a piece of carbon fiber here and a piece of carbon fiber here. And then the frame is sliced out in the middle to make room for this piece right here, which is kind of neat. It's all decorative for sure. Except for this back here kind of reminds me of uh, what's the one that we looked at here recently where they've got the frame lock cut underneath multiple pieces, <laughs> the, mul multiple of the overlay piece or the inlay pieces, right? Um, so that's kind of nice. I mean, it is a frame lock that is entirely covered by multiple pieces of material. So that's kind of neat. We have a flipper tab that is super low profile and probably doesn't need to be there, but it is. The easiest way to open this is absolutely, absolutely the reverse flick. So this is a I believe an in-house Riot design, M390. Um, these, it, it's removable. This is such a weird shape for, it almost feels like it's backwards because like where you're getting your finger under is here, but the texture is up here. Is that so you can slow open it? Maybe, I don't know. The, <laughs> that is just bizarre. Reverse flicking it is definitely the easiest or like the most satisfactory, the most satisfying, most satisfactory, the most satisfying way of opening it. The flipper tab is all right. It's a little bit too small. Um, the backspacer is really interesting, definitely. So we've got a nice uh, groove there. It's kind of raised above the frame here, beveled on both sides. And then there's kind of a, almost like a fuller or just a line milled down the little nice big open lanyard thing for lanyard people. And that way we've got space to uh, make sure that the clip is prioritized and it is, and it's also milled, which is nice. I'm glad that Riot does that. Um, and you know, for what you're going to pay for a Riot, you, you're going to pay for it. It, I mean, it's definitely, these are higher quality knives than what we see in the, you know, generally speaking, the $250 area where you can get some of the same materials, but there's more going on here. I mean, it's pretty unmistakable. Just by looking at it, you can tell there's more going on. And then anybody, anybody who's, who's handled these knives will be able to tell you, yeah, they're just kind of, they're just kind of a step up. Everything just feels more polished, more, more, uh, you know, kind of just little tiny things like the detent strength and how it's tuned for the weight and mass of the blade and this and that. Now there can be design elements that are more or less appreciated by any individual, but yeah, Riot knives really tend to feel a bit higher. So let's, I'm sorry, I'm rambling now. Let's check out this Brown Micarta variant of the Riot Iron. Come on now, how do we open this box? There we go. So, same thing, but with Brown Micarta, which is fine. Uh, I think I prefer the, um, the carbon fiber variants uh, more with this brighter, you know, this this brown to sort of matte finish titanium contrast. You can really see uh, how good their uh, inlay work is. I mean, it is really spectacular. 
you're not even going to see gaps until that frame lock is down, right? And then this is intentionally gapped. It really it needs to be that way so that it can actually move, right? We don't want friction every time you disengage the lock bar for sure. So yeah, there you go. The brown micarta one looks all right, right? I mean, if you really like brown micarta, well, then there you go, right? But I think the carbon fiber, truthfully, I'm, I generally always prefer, Riot does, their carbon fiber is freaking nice. Like that just looks gorgeous. Um, I'm always going to prefer the carbon fiber look. And it's mainly because it's just a black, you know, like a black G10, kind of the same thing. And then what do we have here? Green micarta. Okay. Let's take a look. <laughs> In 2022, micarta and um, carbon fiber are the same value materials. <laughs> <laughs> um, this looks very, not a whole lot different than the brown, right? Calling it green is a stretch. It's just a shade of brown, but it, it still looks good. Definitely. It's just kind of more of a baby food <laughs> color, <laughs> some sort of green vegetable, right? But yeah, nice and smooth. I mean, this isn't like your burlap or your, it's not going to feel like you know, if you buy a Civivi in Micarta or you buy a less expensive knife in Micarta, it's not going to have that rough finish on there. Once again, though, uh, really highlighting exactly, you know, Riot's ability to do this type of inlay work. I mean, it's kind of bold to do a piece of titanium, uh, you know, and then carve a piece of Micarta out so that it fits this piece of titanium and this one over here. I mean, that really, really looks good. Truthfully, um, these are these are all okay. I mean, it's not my favorite means of deployment. The detents definitely tuned correctly. It's just an odd shape for the uh, for the thumb thing, the thumb tetrahedron. Uh, the best looking one, in my opinion, is the carbon fiber variant. Ergonomically, it's all right. You can just barely get a full full uh, four finger grip. It's contoured as well. It just feels a bit like. Behind the flipper tab, it feels a bit unnatural. It You can choke up, though, definitely. And I think that that was intended. This area right here, I think you're definitely meant to be able to choke up. You're really close to that cutting edge right there. So you definitely want to be cognizant of exactly where your finger is. But, yeah, it's all right. Not, it's not my favorite Riot design, definitely. But it's neat that they do these little, you know, these interesting little exclusive runs. Definitely a Riot, definitely 100% Riot quality. That's definitely what you're getting there. So, you know, if you're interested in this model, it's got every bit, you know, the level of quality that you would expect with a Riot knife. Interesting, exclusive through Cranes. Uh, these are not mine to keep. They will go back to Cranes when I am done. Um, but you will absolutely get a full comprehensive review of this model before that happens. This video that you're watching right now is just an unboxing and first impressions, not a review at all. So if you're looking for more detailed information, you can expect that a few weeks down the road on my channel. Please. Uh, well, like I said, you can check out the links for these down in the description. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives. They're either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.